How's it everyone? This is Lockhall, and in today's video we're going to be making a very nice claw, hopefully, for our Venom Gyre Omniscience build. So the mods we're looking for are going to be attack speed, and then cold lightning damage, hits can't be evaded, hopefully some crit multi, and we're going to go, not all in, but we're going to make something very nice. So what I'm going to be doing in this first step is we're going to be spamming Essence of Zeal for essence of zeal attack speed which is 28 to 30 percent which is better than tier one but we are going to try and fracture that but in order to improve our odds because these fracturing orbs are five divines each what we're going to do is we're going to spam essence of zeal until we see a tier one elemental mod so that when we go for the fracture it's a 50 50 to hit a good mod instead of just a one in four so it's about a 1 in 100 to hit that on an I-82 claw. So let's get started. We just need to see tier 1 either, hopefully cold or lightning. But if we see tier 1 fire, we will go for the fracture because we can resell it. Oh, okay. We got that really fast and it's nicely divined. So the thing with this, though, hmm, with the fracturing orbits of one in four, right? Do we go for the annul, or do we go straight for the fracture? We should go for the annul. I'm just scared because this is not only rolled super well, but it has the right mods. Do we just go straight for the fracture? I think. I wouldn't do this if that lightning and attack speed weren't rolled so well. I wouldn't go for this fracture, I'd go for an annul. But by having that 30% attack speed, we don't have to divine it before we go for this fracture. So I think it's actually safe to do this. Hoping to hit that lightning damage or attack speed. And we hit leech. Should have annulled. Okay, let's see what we would have annulled. Yeah, you see, we, we would have annulled the attack speed. Okay, well, we have another one. So, Sag, but we keep going. Now, I have looked online. You can buy the kind of claw I'm looking for, for about, I think it's 30 divines, but I don't know. I don't like, I don't like buying stuff. I want to make it. Ah, tier one cold damage. Now you see, we have that, we have four mods, but our attack speed is not 30%. Our cold damage is rolled really well. Now the question is, do we use a couple of divines to try and get that to 30%? Ugh. I kind of want to, although the cold damage is rolled really nicely. Let's use a couple, see if we can get that attack speed to 30%. Nope. One more. Okay. That's actually really nice. The cold damage is rolled well. The attack speed is rolled really well. So now instead of a 1 in 4, we have a 50-50 to fracture a good mod. So there we go. Fractured. Tier 1 cold damage. So we can actually give this a price check. And I can show you quickly. Fractured tier 1 cold damage. Uh, 250 divines. Let's just quickly look at the trade site to see what that is. It's obviously a finished claw. So yeah, you see there's three results. These ones are finished. So yeah, actually pretty good. This one is perfect. So that's why I was doing it like this because we, instead of a one in four, we have a 50-50 and well, we hit it in two, which is statistically correct, quote unquote. Now the question is, what kind of essences are we gonna use to hit that second elemental damage modifier we want lightning damage but we could use an essence of wrath to kind of guarantee tier one or what we could do is keep using these zeals and since we have these i think let's do this let's see if we can hit some decent lightning damage i think this is probably the play because we have good attack speed 
That's tier three. So this is currently 537 PDPS. Tier four. I'm not exactly sure what the odds of hitting tier one lightning damage are. Probably, probably fairly low. But since we got that really nice fracture and it's rolled well, I think this is worth lightning damage. Actually, what we can do is lightning damage like that, just so it highlights. Why am I crafting at half past eight in the morning? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, there is our tier five lightning damage. We only accept tier one and that's it. The other thing is that once we hit that tier one, we're going to need an open prefix because we need a craft hits can't be evaded. So tier four, tier five. Before we keep going, let's see if we can 30% quality this. I don't have any one socket resonators, so we'll just use these two sockets. Might as well use a metallic fossil while we're at it. Let's see, 30%, 21. 27, 26, 19, 28. I think, I think 28 is good because the craft, the enchant that we're going for is 1% attack speed per 8% quality. And I don't think it rounds up. So let's just leave it like that for now. Hit two. That's the best one we've seen. So this is 590 elemental DPS. Nah, we we go for tier tier one of us. That's it. This is an end game claw. I never want to have to upgrade this thing ever again. This is weirdly worth slamming. We have tier one fire. I mean, imagine we hit tier one lightning. Tier five. I mean, that's 670. The idea there is just if I, for some reason, slammed on tier one lightning, we could sell it probably for a, a really good amount of currency. So yeah, and we are out. We're going to have to get more. Not surprising. I actually want to just quickly check something. So let's hop over to Craft of Exile. So we're over here on Craft of Exile. If you don't know how to fracture a mod, what you do is you click this little fra fracture button, you click that, then you click the mod you want and you right click it. So now that's gonna be fractured. So now we wanna see essence of zeal. What is the chance to hit tier one lightning damage? It's one in 513. Oh boy, actually, you know what? Mm, this is gonna sound crazy. That's about a uh, 12 divine investment, which I, I know it sounds like a lot, but for what we're going for, we're going for like the best. Let's, uh, we're gonna have to just endure it and click a bunch. So let's get some more essences of zeal. Actually, before we move on, I just want to check something. So essence of wrath gives us a pseudo tier one lightning damage to attacks. It's not quite as good, but Almost. So if we're using Essence of Wrath with this Fracture, what is our chance to hit T1 attack speed? Let's see. 1 in 60. So, hmm. Maybe that is a better option. Something we can do here. I know we're not crafting right now, but I want to compare the difference between having the... Well, what's ideal, which is this. Let's say... 30% attack speed with lightning damage and hits can't be evaded. So that shows a 4.6% increase, probably a bit more, honestly. So this is if we use Essence of Zeal until we hit the right mod. Now, the alternative is this, where we go tier one attack speed, pseudo wrath is 3.2. I mean, Going for the zeal is definitely a bit better, but going for wrath is a lot cheaper. Let's try a few more zeals. If we don't hit the zeal 
with the next, let's say, 300, then what we can do is go over to the Essence of Wrath and, and see what we can do. Didn't hit it. Damn it. You know what? We do one more set of deafening. If we don't hit it, we go to, to Wrath. Because I don't want to spend all my money. Round three. What I'm terrified of happening is we hit tier one with another attack tagged prefix and have to annul and then fail the annul and then cry. <laughs> Oh no, exactly what I feared happened, happened. <laughs> Kill me. No. Oh man, okay, so here's our tier one. Actually, super well rolled, but... Oh man, we have to annul off that physical damage. So if that didn't have the attack tag, what we could do is go counter roll attack mods annul. Oh, this is gut-wrenching. So now some people say that crafting on another mod improves your odds. There's always a big fight about this. If I don't craft a mod on before I annul, people get angry. If I do, people get angry. So... Okay, wait. I'm gonna click it. I can't look. I can't look. Ah, oh, I keep missing it. Please annul the physical damage. Ah, uh, please. If it annulled off one of the mods, I'm gonna be so sad. Please, 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 please. <laughs> uh, uh, rip attack speed. All right. We keep going. Wait, unless. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's dead. Oh, man. I jinxed it. Right, well, we miss our one shot, our one opportunity. It was once in a lifetime. We're gonna go for Deafening Essence of Wrath, sadly, but it does mean that we should hit it a lot more easily. So let's go buy those. At least it's entertaining when I fail. <laughs> All right, let's try with these Wraths. This is about a one in 60 to hit tier one attack speed, so. There's tier 7. Much cheaper. I didn't want to impoverish myself by going all in on that. Tier 2 attack speed. And this means we can also take a few more risks, like going for an Ashling or something like that. Let's see. Tier 4. Oh man, those suffixes. This is so nice that what we can do is just block a prefix and then slam on T1 attack speed? Nope. One day. One day it'll happen. One day I'll get a good slam on an item. <laughs> Aha! There we go. Okay, T1 attack speed. It's not perfectly rolled, but. Another thing we can do, so we're going to go counter roll attack mods and hope that we don't get a bit wrecked. The reason I was considering not doing that is because this is one divine and essence of wrath pretty cheap. So this can only annul mods that don't have the attack tag, which is why it annulled off that mana. Now the question is though, do we just multi mod this? Or do we go for an Ashling? If we Ashling it, then what we're going to have is an open suffix that we're going to kind of have to slam. So I'm not 100% sure I want to go for the Ashling. What I do want to do, though, is quickly pop this into Path of Exile and see what the best multi-mod would be. So let's have a quick look. We're over here. We're going to craft our item. Now what I want to see is if we multi-mod it, which mods are going to be the best. So we can look at something like double damage. Chance to deal double damage is 4%. That's pretty good. We can look at crit multi, multiplier. 
Crit multi is 3%. So do we go for crit multi or do we go for crit chance hybrid? This is 8.2%? 9.4%? Okay. So there's that, and then hits can't be evaded will be our final craft. So crafting bench hits can't be evaded at... Wow. Okay, that actually adds quite a lot. So I guess that's what we'll do. We don't go for the double damage. We go for this crit chance. So let's add... Actually, wait. One thing I do want to check before we move on is just the enchant. So there's different enchants and I want to see which one is going to be best. So either attack speed, crit chance per quality, elemental damage per quality. So let's have a quick look and see which one of these is going to be best in Craft of Exile. So actually what we can do instead of doing that is just simulate it by adding another 4% attack speed. So that doesn't seem to add so much. Okay, and then we can also try 1% increased elemental damage per 2% quality. So we can go 16.8 and then we can also do so 7% increase critical strike chance 14.5. So I think the elemental damage craft is going to be the best. I'm still suspicious about the attack speed not making the damage go up. So let's do this, take it over to the crafting bench, three crafted modifiers, we're going to go for the crit, crit intelligence, crit chance, and we're going to go hits can't be evaded. And then over at our horde crafting station, we're going to go per quality, I still feel like the attack speed's going to be the best, but this is half a divine, if it's wrong we can change it. And here's our claw. Quite beautiful, I would say. Are we going to give it a just, just a couple of divines? Use divines for their intended purpose. So let's see, we have 585. Wait, why is the EDP so low? <laughs> My current one is 550. I just spent so, so much currency to like get a marginal upgrade. All right, 287. Oh, 596. Oh, it feels so gross using divine orbs. Oh, that's even worse. One more, one more. Okay, that one, 603. We hit the breaking point. 600 EDPS. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, see what's up on trade and see how stupid we were to actually craft this. See, they all craft attack speed. Did I get lied to by path of building? We spent a lot more. However, the thing is, these are all fire and lightning. So let's see what we can do is go not fire damage local so we don't want to see fire damage local so let's see what pops up now seven divines seven divines or 50 divines i i swear if i had seen this before oh but it's on a noble claw does that matter if i had seen this before i uh i think maybe i would have just bought it but here you can see here's a similar one this one has 660 EDPS. This is pretty much what I was going for. Almost exactly what I was going for. But we failed on that annul and well, here we are. But I mean, it's still, still a pretty decent upgrade in part of the building. Let's uh, copy this over. Control C. Go over here. Cancel. Create custom. Control V. You can see it's a 15% damage increase. So we spent way too much. But the end result is good, Copium, I guess. All right, well, even though that felt a bit gross, I think it only cost only 30 divines. And, well, that other one that we could have bought for seven feels bad, man. But this thing, this thing's pretty good. Massive damage upgrade. And um, if you want to do something similar, just check the trade site to make sure that you're not losing money by making it yourself maybe you find a very lucky nice claw so thanks for watching everyone have a wonderful day and i'll catch you in the next video okay bye bye
Ranching exile. You're making me nervous. 